there were nine goals in Bochum's meeting with Nuremberg, a real thriller for the neutral, and the floodgates opened with this strike from Kevin Stürger. It was a close run thing in the end, with Bochum winning 5-4, and you could argue that this neat first-time finish ultimately made the difference. Goal four comes from Onal Hernandez. The substitute has all the time in the world to pick his spot, and he finds the bottom corner in style. Braunschweig remained the only side with a 100% record in Bundesliga 2, with five wins from five games putting them top of the table. The lower Saxony club are looking really dangerous, not least thanks to goals like this. There was a big upset this weekend in the derby between Dynamo Dresden and Eskebega Auer. This well-taken goal from Simon Scalatidis made it 2-0 to Auer, all pretending Dresden's hopes of getting a result against their eastern rivals. In fact, the away side went on to win 3-0 in that game, a result that few would have predicted before the match. Wurzburg's Tobias Schroek fires his way to number two in our countdown with this thunderous effort against Kreuter Fürth. The ball goes in via the underside of the crossbar for added effect as the midfielder wraps up a 3-0 win for kickers. The newly promoted side continue to take Bundesliga 2 by storm as they now sit second in the table after five match days. What is Dusseldorf keeper Michael Rensing doing way out there? Whatever the reason, Heidenheim captain Mark Schnatterer takes full advantage, wasting no time in beating the stranded goalie with a sumptuous strike once again in off the underside of the bar. Few players would have the guts to hit that one with power, but the cheek of Schnatterer earns him top spot in Bundesliga 2's top five goals on match day five. Oh my goodness, that's a bit of showboating for you. Bender didn't like that at all. Lewandowski goes through it again, oh, he just can't do it! You just cannot be that good! We're very happy, we're very pleased because we get these three points.